What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing more rotation proof standard, and uh, today's deck is actually a mono black aggro deck. And there's so many different builds for mono black decks nowadays that uh, they just come in all different variations and sizes. But I decided to go with the the aggro version. I, I don't think I've done an aggro version for this deck in a few years uh, when I started the the channel. So wanted to check in with it and uh, see what uh, we have to offer. It's actually kind of a uh, all-star lineup of aggro creatures and some of the best stuff that black has to offer going into rotation um it, the deck's actually running uh 26 creatures so it's definitely aggro uh starting with our one drops we have the evolved sleeper uh tiny bones uh tiny bones really nice because it's even a threat in the late game if you have enough mana and you deal damage to your opponent you can start casting non-permanent non-land permanent uh, spells from from their graveyard uh, we have the caustic bronco uh nice new mvp from uh, outlaws of thunder junction deep cavern bat excellent disruption card um, a nice replacement for the graveyard trespasser is lord skitter sewer king i found this uh, to be highly effective the fact that it uh, exiles cards from your opponent's graveyard and you also get these one one uh rat creature tokens that build up over time um, running three copies of the preacher of the schism another great aggressive card that uh Either it gives you card draw or uh, life-linking vampire tokens. Gix, Yawgmoth Praetor, he's a really sweet card to just uh, kick back with him and not attack, but let your other creatures do do the damage, and you just draw cards as long as he's on the battlefield. He's also really great for saddling the uh, the Caustic Bronco, since the saddle cost is three. Got, we have uh, two copies of the Hostile Investigator, uh, really nice for disrupting their hand. Wouldn't be a mono black deck without Shieldred right now. As long as Shieldred's legal and standard, uh, I'll probably at least be playing one copy. And this deck has one of her. And then we have uh, two Phyrexian Obliterator. Whenever ever this hits the battlefield, uh, people just get out of the way and let it let it uh, stomp away for five damage. And then at the top of the mana curve, we have Akalat's uh, Deepest Betrayal. Really nice uh, flying bat god that makes your opponents discard a card. Um... As far as disruption goes, and to kind of keep your opponent's threats in check, we have Liliana of the Veil, nice hand disruption, and uh, makes your opponent sacrifice a creature. And then we have um, three cut down, a uh, bitter triumph, and three go for the throat. It's just a uh, little eight card package uh, for, or sorry, seven card package for uh, taking out your opponent's creatures. And then one copy of Gix's Command, uh, really nice for clearing the board or uh, putting plus one plus one counter on your creature, two of them that is, and then. Uh, uh, returning two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand so pretty uh aggressive deck and uh done pretty well in testing uh oh yeah it also runs 24 lands uh 20 swamps two cavern of souls just in case you need to if you're at a point in the game and you need to get something to resolve on the battlefield without your opponents countering it, it it's pretty good and then two copies of mitra's foundry um the reason why i only doing two copies of mitra's foundry is due to the uh four black mana value cost of the phyrexian obliterator we need as much black mana as possible and at most i could spare two colorless slots so i decided to to go with uh, uh the 22 black mana sources so but anyway that's the deck uh let's go ahead and uh, hop on the ladder but before we do that just a quick reminder um if you want to stay up to date on all the uh future standard stuff that i'm doing uh just go ahead and hit that sub subscribe button definitely helps me out there uh, for the channel and you'll get notified when i post a new video also if you're liking the videos hit that like button too definitely helps me out there so appreciate that let's go ahead and hop on the ladder and uh, see how we do okay so we're on the play here let's go ahead give it a shot That's a good card, Village of the Bog. Alrighty. This is where the three power creatures we have. Plays pretty nice for us. get that out of the way. And I'll go ahead and 
saddle it. Okay. Go ahead and see what they have in their hand here. That's pretty good stuff. Um, they do have the land too coming up. I think I'm. Ah, jeez. I think I'll take the deadly cover up. It's a tough choice there. I had a feeling they were going to play that or the, the arena. Probably looking for a board wipe. Some type. Okay. That would, that would work too. <laughs> okay. So we know they have a board wipe. They're one turn away from casting it. So we need to make things count here. I think I'm going to go for full damage. Uh, we're gonna attack with everything. Okay, so we got lucky getting this deep cavern bat. Let's go ahead and take that board wipe away from him. Thing that I, that's visible that's in their hand that they can cast as the the arena so hopefully we can put an end to it at the on our next turn here we'll see though they can block co restless cottage too however we do have an answer for that with the go for the throat i think they can only probably put one blocker out even if they well they couldn't even put the titan of industry out there they just don't have enough Okay, we should be able to just end it right here. Yeah, nice. Good win, good win. All right, so we're on the draw. Playable hand, go ahead and keep it. Could be an interesting battle. Mono red versus mono black. Ooh, lightning strike. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I guess we'll. We'll take one of the lightning strikes. Coming at us for five. No blocks. Alright. Now let's go ahead and attack here. Now we'll take that other other removal spell from him. Oh boy, they have another one. Um, they don't have that third land yet, so go ahead and do that. Uh, no block. Okay. I'll go ahead and attack, get some of that life back. And then, um, let's see here. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and I'll take more of the removal spells from him. So 
five. Okay. No block. Alright. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of this look shot show off. I'll go ahead and attack here. And we'll pass. Yep, they got the removal now. We're gonna get one of those spells back. Deep cavern bat. Crazy. Um, we gotta take it from him. So otherwise they'll kill us, so. And, uh... I think we'll go ahead and... Let's see. We attack. We'll gain two life. We'll be at four. We'll block one of their big guys. I think we'll just go ahead and attack with one. Now we'll pass. That's got trampled too. I forgot about that. Yeah, they got us. That's all we can do there. They're gonna trample over and kill us. Oh, but we get a life though. Eh. That's good. Mono red. Ugh. Okay. Not really liking this hand. We have one drop, but then that's about it. This is better. Um, gonna keep this. I'm gonna put back the cut down. Because it's a little bit more all purpose than the cut down, so that's why I'm holding on to that one. Plus, we're on the draw, too, so if we can draw into it. Ooh, are we playing another mono red deck? Uh, could be. See what we have here. Oh, cast a deep cavern bat. They're just sitting on all sorts of removal. I think I'll take the end of the festivities. They have, to, they have to spend more than one mana to. Get rid of the bat. Guess it didn't really matter. We have some answers. Let's see here. Go ahead and cast the Bronco. Next turn we'll do Liliana. We're gonna use 
use this on their code breaker. Got the obliterating bolt. That'll that could take Liliana out, so um I'm gonna go ahead and This is my home and I don't appreciate it. Use her to get rid of the creature. <laughs> Off you go. Go ahead and attack the Bronco. Ooh, that's brutal. Um, it's be good if we can get it on the battlefield, though. Okay, so they have two mana to use. Saddle the Bronco. We'll go ahead and attack with it. And we'll pass. Good. It's a good thing we have an answer. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead, just go ahead and attack the the obliterator. here, definitely. Sweet. Yeah, we had it. We had him. Good, good way to hold the ground there. Wow. I think we've only gone first once in the uh, four games so far. Uh, we'll, we'll keep this. Definitely playable. See what they're playing. Oh, 
Mirror Control. Okay, good to know. So I guess we'll just go ahead and just go ahead and start beating them down. Um, huh, bad beating. Okay, uh, that's good to know. Detective, and we'll make him ditch a card. Cast uh gets his command now. We'll get these two creatures back. Cause they're gonna they have a board wipe now if they want to use it. Nice. I want some information here. What do they have? You gonna counter it? Okay. Alright, so they're tapped out. We'll go ahead and attack here. Stall removal. Okay. They can probably probably the go for the throat. They'll be able, able to use the Ret March Wretched Sorrow or the Deadly Cover Up, so kind of in a tough bind here. Um yeah, we'll just we'll just take that. I'm not gonna play anything else though. Let's see if we can draw into some stuff with our clues. We'll go ahead and yeah, we'll get rid of the deluge. There we go. And yeah, we'll pass. Oh, 
Okay. We'll go ahead and attack here. And then... Go ahead and cast Tiny Bones. We'll pass. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm glad they used that removal because now they can play the obliterator. All right, let's go ahead and activate that. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Finish it off there. Did they use the removal. They have removal. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and attack. Sweet. We're able to outmaneuver him. That was a good game. Huh. Well, they have two land. Darn it. Can play these, though. I like this hand. Other than the land situation. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Got rid of our Gix's command, but still, I like what we have here. Um, gonna do the Bronco. Huh, interesting. They timed out there. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and cast Gix. Saddle them up. Draw a few cards. Take action. Nice. Might be a little mana hungry there. Okay. I'll yeah, we'll go ahead and play that. Attack here. Take action. And we'll decline that last one. I don't want to have to discard anything right now. We've missed a couple land drops here, so. I think we might have them due to their lack of mana. Okay, nice. We got it. 
Alrighty, so that was the mono black aggro deck. Uh, did pretty well. You know, we, we stumbled against the mono red deck that uh, beat us there, but we were also able to beat a mono red deck, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, as with any deck, well, you'll struggle against a mono red deck if they get an explosive start, and especially if you're going second, so not much you can do about it there, but uh, I was pretty happy with the way the deck did. We were able to beat the, the Golgari deck, we were able to outmaneuver the uh, Demir control deck, and then just got lucky with our opponent getting land hosed against the uh, Azorius deck they were playing, but uh, did pretty well. I was, I was pretty happy with the deck. It's definitely something I would try if I wanted to uh, ascend the ladder with uh, this deck, and or if I wanted to play it at an FNM, if any of the places are still doing standard. But um, yeah, it's a fun deck to play. It's a good deck to have going into rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a uh, link to the deck list in the video description if you want to try it out. It's uh, something fun to play. But anyway, I think that'll do it for this particular deck. I'll be back again soon, everybody. Until then, y'all take care, and we'll see you soon.